Y. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this table. I've already shared the free plans, so you can grab those through the link in the description. In this video, I just want to give you a visual of how I built it. So I took my boards and I ripped the edges so they were square, taking about an eighth inch off each side on the table saw. You can see how they're nice and square. To attach the tabletop boards together edge to edge, I'm using a pocket hole jig on a three quarter inch setting. I drilled pocket holes about every eight to 10 inches. You can use a hand pocket hole jig as well. And then I just used a flat table with a clamp to start assembling the tabletop. Notice I held all of the tabletop boards square to the front end and then I left the discrepancies on the far end because your cuts are never going to be exactly perfect. The best way is to cut all of those ends at once using a circular saw and a guide. This step only took me a couple of minutes and look at how much better it looks. Now moving on to the aprons that go under the tabletop to support it. I'm going to miter the corners at 45 degrees and then drill pocket holes along the long edge for attaching it. The shorter aprons need to be cut to fit for a perfect fit. This may vary depending on the width of your tabletop boards. And then I just pocket hold it in place. This completes the tabletop. For the legs, I'm using one by sixes and one by eights. You can see that the edges have been ripped so they are nice and square. I'm going to put them together with one and a quarter inch brad nails. However, in the plans, I do detail out how you can do this so at least the outside facing edge won't have any nail holes showing. The hollow leg will be lightweight and more dimensionally stable than just a beam of wood. With the tabletop and the legs built, I'm gonna start assembly. So I filled the exposed nail holes on the legs with a stainable wood filler and then let that dry. Then I used 120 grit sandpaper to really sand the legs in the tabletop so it was perfectly smooth. And then I applied a stain to the legs in the tabletop. I'm going for more of a muted finish. So what to do? Mute it with a mixture of water and white paint. I just paint the mixture on and then wipe it off quickly with the cloth to blend it in. You can see what a big difference between the whitewashing and without. With the legs and the tabletop finished, I can start the assembly. So first I just set the legs in place and then I added these one by three supports underneath. This is gonna add some strength to the center of the table and also give us something to attach the legs to. I didn't attach the legs yet at this step. This makes it easy to transport the table and then on site assembly is super easy. Just add some screws. Click the link in the description for the free plans. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, please take a second to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.